And it looks like the referee's all set. And we're ready to go here. Quarterfinal game, I believe. Yes. And here we go. One last check from the referee. Kickoffs made by Julian Rainville from University of Sherbrooke. Taken down and went backwards by Bishops. A little unclean at the start. Tight phase to the short side. And cleared by scrum half Nick Charlton. And cleared out by the fly half. Mr. Nixon. Sherbrooke's counterattacking. Coming up the center here. Uh, we've got uh, P.N. Perron. Oh, referee's blowing his whistle for a little knock-on by Sherbrooke. So it'll be first scrum to Bishops here. Uh, scrum is always an interesting part of the game. Uh, and we'll see uh, who's going to get the upper hand here. Of course, both many players on either of these teams know each other very well. So they're well aware of their tendencies. In fact, our two scrum halves today played uh, the bulk of the summer together. Uh, Monsieur Le Riviere uh, being a backup occasionally to uh, Nick Charlton here, who's putting in for Bishops today. So first put in here to Bishops. And it's healed back by Sherbrooke. Oh, but then regathered by Bishops in the end. Nope. The Riviere comes on the short side. Rainville cleans up. Sherbrooke's won a good ruck there. Just on their own 40. Taken forward here in a good strong run uh, by Roy. Taken forward by Robin Temporelli, another uh, Abenaki out there. We got lots of them out here. The Abenaki Rugby Club well represented on both these teams. Pass a little bit behind the Sherbrooke player there. It seemed to go forward, but referees letting play carry on. So Sherbrooke here with some good go forward ball. Taken forward by Ben Lebrec. Rainville swings it out. He's got some big men out here running in the middle of the field. Ball's not coming. Yep. Bishop's not rolling away there. They're penalized just on their on their on the 45 yard line. Just a little bit out of range of all their kickers. So Rainville's going to kick for the touch, kick for touch here, try and get a good attacking line out. Good touch found by Rainville. And they've got a line out about just outside the 20 yard mark uh, in Bishop's End. So after our first scrum now, we're coming to our first line out uh, to be thrown in by Olivier Novello Vortour, another Abenaki, of course. Uh, I promise I'll stop saying that soon. Good steep back line for Sherbrooke. Looks like. Uh, It'll be interesting to see what their game plan is here, if they're going to swing it wide or keep it tight. I'm trying to maul it forward here a little bit. They've, they've got it well, well organized there at the back of the, rack, of the maul. Yeah, that seems to have halted. Ball's going to be freed up here. Nope. Ball's not rolling out, coming out of there. So it's going to be turnover. It's going to be bishops put into their own scrum here. And you have to think they're going to clear their lines from here. Uh, using LT Nixon again. But Charlton might decide to do it himself from the back of the scrum. So the first scrum was a little shaky for Sherbrooke. Let's see if Bishops can hold it together a little bit better. Oh, Sherbrooke putting a lot of pressure on them. Lee Hudson tries to clean up at the back. But it's knocked forward there by Sherbrooke, so it's going to be another put in a Bishops. Big, big shove there by Sherbrooke. They're laying down a marker there. Out of the games that I've seen this year, I haven't seen that happen too often, but uh, that's, uh, that's something that Coach Good will be concerned about. Bishop's got to dig deep here if they uh, if they want to uh, limit uh, Sherbrooke's opportunities here. But now it's obviously Sherbrooke put in. 
Uh, they've got, uh, you know, 10 meters on the short side to work with. It'll be interesting to see if they try to pick and go short side or if they use their backs. Yep, they're going short side, eight to nine. Larry Vierta goes for a little run. Manages to stay in field, knocked out by White. Should be a green line out. About, just about uh, 10 meters out from the goal line. So Sherbrooke brought it down and mauled it last time. I'd be surprised if they didn't do it again. It seemed to work well for them. So Bishops will have to be ready for that. I see they're contesting. Ah, they did it. It was a very good decision in the end. They've come up with a ball off Sherbrooke line out, just uh, 10 meters out. Phase with the forwards here. Trying to set up a platform so they can clear the ball. Nixon's waiting for it. Not just yet. Charlton feeds one time to the forwards. And Nixon with a clearance, but he hasn't found touch. The referee's coming back. He's got offside, I believe, against Sherbrooke. Referee's consulting with his touch judge. I'm assuming it's just for the mark, or maybe you've seen some foul play behind the play. We'll wait and see what that decision is. But again, good decision to contest that line out. I must admit this commentator was surprised, but uh, it worked out for them in the end. So referee Poopar is gonna speak to someone here. Looks like number five. Five green, five for Sherbrooke. But some off the ball incident. Yeah, just a little chat with him. Uh, nothing more than that. So penalty uh, to Bishops uh, just outside their own 10 meter mark. And Nixon's gonna try and uh, get out of his own end here. Try and find a safe touch. And he does so. So love their own, it'll be their line out uh, just outside their 22. Still under a bit of pressure here from Sherbrooke. Sherbrooke uh, started the game well in the first six, seven minutes. Uh, they've had the uh, territorial advantage for sure. Scrum half Charlton throwing in a line out. Tipped back by Bishops, a little sloppy, and cleaned up there. Purple forwards come in and clean out. We've got a knock on advantage, Charlton kicks high. Perron for the uh, Sherbrooke, collects it bravely. Bishops got him up on his feet here though, that's what they wanted. A little contest on the ground there. Not sure if they were able to get the ball on the ground. We'll see who's put into the scrum it'll be. So it was held in the mall there. It's going to be a white scrum. Oh, I guess not. I guess they were going forward. He's decided that it's Sherbrooke ball. So Sherbrooke's first scrum of the day was a little wonky, uh, but they certainly put a lot of pressure on the Bishop scrum at their put. And let's see if, if Bishops can or Sherbrooke can hold it together here. Just uh, five meters out from touch here on the near side. Ball in the scrum, but Bishop will bowl. Ball's bouncing around in there, but Sherbrooke seems to have controlled it. Larry Vier clears to Rainville. Out the back, trying to hit Perron, but misses him with it. Fullback takes it, and he kicks a high one. Right down to McGovern, who kicks a right back with interest. Perron gets it on about his 25. Fights off a few Bishop's tacklers, and then is eventually wrapped up and hands off to his teammate. Now Sherbrooke on their 30, ball's cleared out. Rainville gets it again. A little bit of space here on the short side. Flanker goes for a run. Oh, no, that's our prop, in fact. Uh, Goyette. So carried in a touch there. So it's gonna be Bishop's line out on the Sherbrooke 45. So Sherbrooke had good possession there, but uh, ended up just moving backwards in the field. They've got to consolidate their possession a little bit more and make sure their passes. Rainville threw a loose pass there out to out to his backs. He's got to it's got to be better communication between those backs if they're going to be successful today. So Bishop's just inside line out, just inside uh, the Sherbrooke half. Charlton to throw. Sherbrooke 
Sure broke up too early a little bit there. Yeah, looks like they got the advantage for that. Bishop springs it down, tries to go for a little maul here. Okay. Little handoff to Crawford from Nixon, but uh, yeah, early lifting there. Poupard rightly penalizes them. Charlton takes it quickly for the free kick. Charlton finds a gap, looks for the offload. He finds Crawford with it. Crawford makes good yards going forward. Good attacking platform here for Bishops with right in the center of the field. Swing it out to Crawford. Here's Hudson attacking. Just 20 meters out. But it's been turned over by Sherbrooke. They ripped away in the tackle, uh, on the of the tackle on Hudson. So Sherbrooke now looking to consolidate possession and imagine they'll be looking to uh, get out of their end here. And there it is, ball's clear back to Rainville. He clears it and finds a safe touch. Not on the 30 yard mark, so Bishop's put in there. Sherbrooke not out of the woods yet. So had a few mistakes from each side so far. Uh, we can attest that to a little bit of jitters from these crosstown rivals. But uh, we look for both teams to settle down shortly and uh, give us some good attacking rugby. The Bishop's backs haven't had a really chance to run with the ball. This might be their first one. Good attacking, attacking line out here. I could see them using Crawford off the tail of the line out here. As a, obviously with that 20 meter gap, there's a little bit of space for him to attack. He's got McGovern on his outside shoulder, but Sherba claims the line out. Well, scrums and line out, it's not, uh, not steady for anybody. That's one each side now that uh, each team has lost. It was lost forward in the line out in fact, so it's gonna be scrum to Sherbrook. So Sherbrooke to introduce the scrum here. Ball into the scrum uh, on about their, uh, on their 30 right now, 35. Ball's coming back cleanly. Temporarily picks, good handoff there. Aggressive handoff. A little run down the short side. Larry Vier clears to his forwards again. Good clean ball coming back for them again. Clear back to Rainville. Rainville shaped a kick, but he ran out of time there. Hands off to his winger. Well cleared out there, out in the backs. Sherbrooke sure backs, going for a little run, but it wrapped up there. Ooh, I seem to go forward off green, yep. It's gonna be a white scrum. Sherbrooke sure sh showing a bit of enterprise there, but uh, just a little too flat out there in the backs. Gotta make sure they stay steep. So good attacking scrum here from, sh from Bishops, or four Bishops. Let's see if their scrum can hold. And they've got a good uh, 10 or 15 meter short side to work with. With two of their backs uh, shaping to go short side. I could see uh, the Bishop's number eight, Hudson, uh, picking it and going right and seeing that there. But uh, let's see if their scrum can hold first. There being a lot of pressure on again. Hudson's digging for it. And it's collapsed on them. Yep, absolutely. Well penalized by uh, referee Poupart. Yep, right decision. That Bishop scrum is under a lot of pressure today. First two put-ins they've had have been real messy. So Sherbrooke gave it a leaves, able to relieve some pressure here with a clearance kick from Rainville. But he hasn't found his touch. Ball back to Nixon who turns it right to the center of the field. Where uh, Peru was there to clean up. Winger Perron goes for a little, uh, takes a little stab, regathers his own kick. Well done. Yep, penalty against White. Yep, Green just coming in, taking a tackling a player without the ball coming in the side. Unfortunately, that was good play by Perron. Uh, initially by the fullback Perron, and then uh, Perron did well to recover and go for his own little kick. Charlton's kick hasn't found touch. Perron swings it back to Perron in the middle. Sherbrooke moving it real wide right now using the whole width of the field. Nice offload there. Uh, Picard out there be getting involved. One of his first touches of the ball. Sherbrooke made 30 meters already. Forwards coming in on the charge now. Looks like Sherbrooke might have a size advantage today. 
And I think they're going to try and put that to good use. They've demonstrated that so far, certainly in scrum time, but also around the field of play. Bishop's countered well there. Nice tackling. Goyette goes for a little run up the middle. Might be in danger of not. Yeah, well stolen by Bishop's. Yeah, yeah he was in danger of losing that ball, and he has. Bishop's turns it over. They got a full back line out here on the near side. Referee Poupart penalizes Green for going off the getting going off their feet. So now you got a penalty to Bishops uh, just on their side of half. Charlton thought about taking it quickly, but sensibly decides to uh, let us fly off, kick for touch, which he does. So Bishop's line out here uh, just on the 40 uh, inside the Sherbrooke end. Now let's see if uh, one of these two teams can get their set pieces organized. Sherbrooke seems to have stabilized their scrum, but Bishop's got to work on their line out here. If they're not going to have success at scrum time, they certainly have to get their line outs in order. And they do this time, and it's brought down, and they're trying to take it for a walk, but uh, Sherbrooke's able to push them back. But Green's been penalized here for cynical play, reaching out and knocking the ball out of uh, scrum half's hands. Rightly penalized again. I would imagine that Nixon's going to go or somebody's going to go for a touch finder again. Try and get some deep, uh, deep uh, possession here. Yep. Good line out found there uh, by Scott Best. The fullback coming in and uh, kicking for touch there. So now Bishop's good attacking platform here. Their last line out was good. Uh, let's see if they can build on that just uh, 15 meters out uh, from the Sherbrook goal line. So they've tried they've tried bringing it down and mauling it a couple of times. It hasn't quite worked for them. Let's see if they try uh, a different option. Again, I see Crawford standing out with the backs, but often they use him as a strike runner off the tail of the line out. Be interested if they bring it down right away and feed it out to him. Well, they've brought it down again. A little more organized this time. They're getting some go they're going sideways a little bit. Now it's peeled off. Hudson peels off and sets the ruck. Ball goes to Crawford out in the backs. Fed on to other to his forward partner. Ball's coming out wide now for Sherbrooke back or the Bishops backs. Fed out to Best. Good clean out. Still 15 meters out, 20 meters out from the goal line. But Bishop's in good possession here. Starting to recycle well, build some phases together. Big short side here, and Charlton brings it out here. Scott Best, a little chip kick through. Well taken by Perron. Goes with a clearing, a little clearing kick. He gets it out and relieves some of the pressure. Uh, but Bishop's finally able to put five or six phases together uh, and put a little heat on Sherbrooke. But uh, the little kick by Best, uh, it was speculative. At best, pun intended. Uh, and it didn't quite work out for him this time, but it'll keep the uh, Sherbrooke defense guessing as this game progresses. So Charlton to throw, just uh, 25 me 22 meters out uh, from the Sherbrooke end. Short line out, right to the front. Not sure if it went five. Referee's coming back and calling for a scrum. And, uh, Sherbrooke elects for the scrum. Yeah, didn't go five meters. So coming back here, Sherbrooke scrum. And not a bad option from Bishops to go to the first man in the lineout, uh, the first lifter, but it just didn't travel the five meters. It's hard to get away with that with your two touch judges here who are keeping an eye on things like that too. So, But again, it'll just keep uh, the Sherbrooke team guessing. So that Riviere is put in here to the scrum. Steady shove from Sherbrooke, sh screwing a little bit, but they're coming short side. Larry Vier takes it for a little run. It takes three players to get him down. A little pick and drive from the green forwards. The big men doing what they do best. Ball clear back to Rainville. 
who kicks up in the center of the field. Charlton there to field it. Oh, might have been lost forward by Green. But no. Referee's allowing play to carry on. Bishops has the ball right at halfway. Bishops ball coming to the short side. Hudson takes it in. Loses the ball in contact, but uh, went backwards, so it's carried on uh, by Brock Spencer. Charlton clears it out to Nixon, who again kicks the center of the field. Perron's there to cover. He might get the bounce here. Kicked in a touch by Perron. Safe play from McGovern right in front of him. So it'll be Bishop's put in here. Uh, it's 45 meters out, or 40 meters out from the Sherbrooke end. So both teams, or both fly halves, both nines looking to kick for uh, not only territory, but uh, also kicking as an attacking option. Hasn't quite worked out for them yet, but I look forward to continue and look for the forwards and the backs for that matter to do a more concerted chase in the future. Ball one at the back of the line out. Bishop's trying to maul it forward a little bit again. Try to suck in the green forwards. Ball cleared out to Shane Crawford. Takes on three green uh, Sherbrooke players. Manages to recycle the ball. Ball comes out quickly to Bishop's backs. Ball fed out to uh, Jerry Lafon, who takes it in. Ball recycled again. Nixon kicks to the corner. No real chase on there, though. Ball's going to roll into. No. Has to be fielded by Sherbrooke. Yeah, might have been knocked. Oh, that was a dangerous one there. Uh, the Sherbrooke winger was waiting for it to go in the end zone, and it wouldn't go. And there's two Bishops players around him. So it was actually knocked forward by Bishops, so uh, Sherbrooke might be lucky there. Uh, so they get a scrum down, but that was... Uh, Scary times there for the Sherbrooke winger. It's always touch and go when you think uh, that ball is going to roll in the end zone, but the bounce of the rugby ball, you never know what it's going to do. So here we are with the Sherbrooke uh, scrum five meters out. But I'd expect Sherbrooke scrum to hold steady. And uh, Rainville being able to clear the lines. Or you might see Temporelli pick and go once or twice. You might see the forwards uh, try and carry it up a little bit, give Rainville a little more room to breathe. And in fact, that is what happens. Temporelli going a little sideways, though, running away from his support. I think they've managed to consolidate possession. Forwards take it in again. Yeah, and they're awarded a penalty. I believe Bishop's not rolling away there. A little too eager in trying to... Uh, Get the ball from the ground. In fact, there might have been hands in the hands on the ground there. So Sherbrooke able to will be able to uh, clear their lines with a kick to touch. And Rainville does that. He makes it up to uh, about the 40 yard mark. So after the first six seven minutes being mostly uh, Sherbrooke in, in control, Bishops is uh, coming back into this game with 23 minutes played. Still no score. Uh, no real uh, uh, no real attacking threats from any team just yet. Most of the game's been in the middle of the field. Sherbrooke wins their line out, clears it out to their f uh, to Roy out in their backs. Now Rainville, a good quick ball, decides to change direction. Swings it out to Peru, who finds some forwards. Gaillette out there, fed out to the winger on the far side. Might have been lost forward by Sherbrooke. Looks like it'll be option. Lost in a touch. It'll be option for Bishops. Scrum or line out. I'm guessing they're going to go for a line out. It's been a little more reliable for them as of yet. And in fact, that is what they do. So we're, uh, we're on the 45 yard mark uh, inside the Sherbrooke end. So ball taken down by Hudson. Ball goes to ground after the line out. Charlton clears it out to Nixon. Fed it to Lafon out in the backs. Charlton digs that ball out quickly. Good quick ball out to the backs. Here they come running. Good run there. Yeah, not, didn't release the ball on the ground there. Unfortunate uh, for the Bishops 13. Mike Izzard didn't release the ball on the ground after that tackle. 
It's too bad though. Bishops had great, uh, great, uh, great phases set up there. Just a little mental mistake. Referee's going to have a chat with uh, one of the players here. No, everything seems to be okay. I thought it might have been a blood situation, but I think he's all right. So penalty here, uh, Rainville to clear. Trying to find a, find a good touch. And he does. Safe touch. Not too many yards out of it. Uh, just near halfway. So again, here we are right in the middle of the field. Uh, Sherbrooke line out just inside their own half. With Novello Votour to throw in. Sherbrooke with a five man line out. Goes out to the back, but stolen by Hudson at the back. Overthrown by Sherbrooke. Intercept by Rainville. And he's off. Tackled by McGovern, just inside Bishop's half. Yeah, Bud Green went straight to ground after that. Unlucky, that was well taken by Rainville. Uh, good work there by Bishop's in the lineout, uh, but then turned over seconds later on the intercept by Rainville, who made a good 10 or 15 meters. Good run there, but then all that good work spoiled uh, by a green player diving on top of the ruck after Rainville's good break. Uh, well, the touch judge is having a word to Poupard here. That's maybe some off the ball incident. And the referee wants to speak to uh, Sherbrooke Winger. And he's speaking, he's getting a yellow card. The number eight's getting a yellow card. Temporelli, one of their impact players, significant players. He's got a yellow card here at the 27 minute mark. Uh, so this is going to be trying times for the Sherbrooke pack and the whole Sherbrooke team as a whole. I'm not sure what that was for, but it might have been for uh, uh, some communication, uh, inappropriate communication, let's call it that way, either towards the referee or to other players. So yeah, for the next 10 minutes, Bishops will be a man up. Um, and they've, uh, from the resulting penalty, they've uh, got a line out, uh, 30, on the 30 yard mark, a 30 yard line of the Sherbrooke end. So they've got a golden opportunity here with one of their uh, dominant players off the field for the next 10 minutes. Let's see if they can capitalize. Starts with a line out here, five men, thrown to the front, quick ball out to Charlton. First time they've done this today. The referee decided it wasn't straight. So they're gonna come back for a green scrum. Those kind of mistakes that you can't make. There was no reason. There, Sherbrooke wasn't jumping for that. Uh, it's, uh, I hate to say it, but it's unforgivable. It shouldn't happen. Sherbrooke wasn't even contesting. That ball's got to go right down the middle. There's no win today. We can't blame it on that. So here we are uh, with a Sherbrooke scrum just inside their own half. Of course, they're down a man in the scrum. Let's see how it holds up without them. And it's holding up very well, but in fact, Bishops has stolen it. Hudson peels off the back, fields Charlton. Charlton tries with the offload out the back, but it doesn't work. Picked up by Sherbrooke again, and they're swinging it out wide. And they found a little bit of space out there with a fullback attacking. It's made a good 10 meters. Ball popped up from the deck. Sherbrooke still coming forward with it. Bishops contests very well, and they might have turned that over even. In fact, they have. Ball fed out to Crawford, who fights his way through, makes five meters. And Sherbrooke with it, Bishops with an advantage here. Charlton with a chip kick through, chases on, and he's able to regather and score. I believe that's Scott Best in the corner. Yeah, very well played, very clever play. Uh, great steal on the ground, I didn't see who that was. Uh, but Nick Charlton was able to uh, spot the gap in behind, and he had two chasers on there. Uh, very well seen, very well spotted. Uh, superb attacking, uh, superb attacking phases there. Uh, very well taken. So finally, we've got our first points on the board here. It took almost 30 minutes, uh, but Bishop's got a f their first try of the game. Uh, of course, while uh, Sherbrooke has a player in the sin bin. Yep. But that was very well, uh, very well played. 
uh, first of all, by the steal on the ground by the Bishop's player, and then uh, good vision by Nick Charlton, uh, and great chase by Scott Best, and uh, uh, Josh Bray, I believe, is playing out on that wing. It was well spotted by them. So Nixon with the attempt at the conversion here. Uh, he's eight meters in from the far side touchline. He's a right-footed kicker. It's going to be a tough one. Puts his boot to it and puts it off the post and in. Off the post and in. You can't ask for much better than that. So 7 nothing Bishops now uh, with just over 30 minutes uh, elapsed in the first half. So Bishops taking advantage of uh, Sherbrick being down a man. Sherbrick's a little hard done by. They've, uh, they've had the bulk of possession and, and territory, but now they find themselves in a 7-0 hole. So the kickoff is made. Knocked forward by Bishop, so a free ball to Sherbrooke. And now they're rewarded a penalty, in fact, uh, for Bishops, I believe, not rolling away at the ruck. Yep, not rolling away. So Rainville's going to try and get them down deep into Bishop's territory. And even with uh, the number eight in the sin bin, I think they could, I think they could uh, take this for a little, uh, little walk downtown, so to speak, uh, and try and maul this in. Or, the worst case, you could probably draw a penalty. At least get on the board here while there are players in the bin. So Voto here to throw into the Sherbrooke line out. Uh, good attacking position here, just 20 meters out. Ball is thrown in, but stolen by Bishops in the lineup. Crucial mistake by Sherbrooke there. And Bishops uh, able to make uh, five or six meters here on the uh, resulting mall, then it comes to ground. Ball fed back to Nixon, who's going to just punch it downtown. Reclaimed by the Sherbrooke winger, who sets off, makes a good 10 meters. Bishop's contesting there, but Sherbrook able to recycle that ball. Take it in contact, fed backwards, loose pass. Good defense by Bishops out there. On the far side here, Larry Vieira looks to his forwards to consolidate possession here. Larry Vieira feeds Rainville. Rainville has a look, decides to, ooh, almost decided to go for a run. Ball sloppy and it's been turned over. Bishops has picked that up. Little indecision there in the Sherbrooke backs. And Bishop's now making the pay. Nixon puts a little high, little high one up. The chase is on. Anybody's ball. Whistle's gone. Lost forward there by Sherbrooke. It's going to be Bishop scrum. A little sloppy play from both teams. Uh, yeah, but Rainville, a little indecisive there. And talking to his back line right now about it. Seeing what he can do about it next time. Yeah, him and Thomas Goulet were a little, uh, little confused there. They're going to have success today. Those two are going to have to get sorted out. All right, so here we are with the Bishop scrum just in the, on the Sherbrooke side of halfway. Scrum goes down. We'll just reset it. Of course, many of these front row players, or at least uh, four of these front row players, four out of the six play against each other or with each other or other in the summer. So the scrum is stable. Ball is going to be introduced by Charlton. Sherbrooke still getting the shove on with seven guys. But Bishops managed to win the ball back. They get the ball out. Little miscommunication there in the Sherbert Bishop's back line, but it's able to come out. It's swung wide. Good yards made there by uh, Mike Izzard. Ball chipped through and in the touch. But they made a good 20 meters out of it. Bishop's has. 
So we'll line out to Sherbrooke uh, deep in their end, just uh, 20 odd meters out. But amazing that shove by Sherbrooke, even with only seven guys, able to turn the screws on the Bishop's pack. And you have to wonder what uh, what kind of subs, if any, are there there are out there for uh, the Bishop's team to solidify that scrum. But you'd think they would have had them there in the first place. But here we are, Sherbrooke line out. They've lost their they've lost a few lineouts today, but they win this one. Pops right back, Larry Vieira out to Rainville. The referee's calling it back. I believe it wasn't thrown straight, so no clean lineout uh, this time. Yep, not straight. So it's going to be a Bishop's put in on the scrum. And again, Bishops, if they want to have one more crack here. Oh, and they opt for the lineout, of course. So one more crack here while uh, Sherbrooke is still down a man. If they can get another score here, uh, what a rub salt in the wound. Ball's thrown in, well taken. Now they're going to try and maul it. Sherbrooke holding up well. Ball's fed out to Crawford. Crawford all alone, takes on three guys. Ball taken forward again. I believe it's by Sheree. Ball out to the backs. Nixon looks wide. Ball coming again, the short side. There's Bray in from the other wing. Breaks one tackle, breaks two tackles. Just two meters out. Ball fed out to Nixon. Feeds Hudson. Takes two to take him down. Comes back on the short side. Crawford hangs on to a little too long. Wrapped up by uh, the Sherbrooke uh, second row. Ball fed out again. Stout defense here by Sherbrooke. Good driving tackle by Thomas Goulet. Ball fed out to the wide side to Nixon who hangs on to it. Able to keep maintain possession. Ball fed out to Crawford in the center of the center field. Sherbrooke getting in there and contesting. Yep, and they've won the turnover. They've won the turnover. Crawford a little bit isolated there all by himself. And Sherbrooke were able to get in there and contest for the ball. And Big Beater takes it quickly, hacks it downfield. Here we are down to the Bishop's 20, 25 meter line. Scott Best there recovers on his left foot, kicks it upfield, not in touch though. Picked up by the Sherbrooke hooker, who might have knocked it forward. Yep, but we got a penalty here. The Bishop's forward's not retreating. We got a penalty again to Sherbrooke. Right. Scott Best's kick put a lot of his white players offside. Um, so that's unfortunate for Bishops. And just as Temporelli comes back from his yellow card, uh, Sherbrooke here has a chance with just two minutes left. Uh, very, in all likelihood, find, get, take a line out and maybe get some points on the board before this half's done. So the ball's kicked deep. Good kick by Rainville. They're just 15 meters out. Now let's see if Sherbrooke can uh, win one of their lineouts. They have, they've, had, they've struggled uh, this half. Their scrum has been superb, but uh, they've had some difficulties with their lineouts. Let's see if they're able to iron those out in the next, uh, well, this last lineout, just before halftime with a minute and a half left. Bishop's getting ready to contest. Goes to the front to Temporelli, who takes it well. They missed him while he was off the field. Now the ruck is formed. Ball spits out the side, cleaned up by Goyette. Nervier digging for it, is able to find it. Fed out to Rainville. Fed out to Perron. Hooker comes in and cleans up. Sherbrooke right in the center of the field. They got both sides wide open. Sherbrooke looking ominous here. They got an advantage, penalty advantage. Ball taken forward again. Just five meters out. Still working the short side. Their big men are taking it up, getting the hard yards. I think they'll just keep it tight from now on, seeing as how they had the advantage. Well, they're just a meter out now. He's looking ominous, but Bishop's holding up right now. Larivier feeds out. 
Just five meters out. Bishop's holding on here. Ball fed out to Rainville who swings it out. A little bit behind Begbeater. Fell out to Thomas Goulet who's gonna, who drives in and makes it. Breaks two tackles. Dives over the Bishop's player to score. With five seconds to go before halftime. Well, Sherbrooke put a lot of pressure on them there. They went through at least nine or 10 phases and were, able, were finally rewarded uh, with a try to their number 12, Thomas, Thomas Goulet, who of course has come through the junior ranks of the Abenaki and played senior level rugby Abenaki this year in the last uh, year or two. And, and here he is playing now the University of Sherbrooke or as well with the University of Sherbrooke and scores a good try there. Yeah, Sherbrooke built that up well. They uh, put phase after phase together tight, then were able to swing it out. Rainville straight to Thomas Goulet behind Big Beater as a dummy runner. And then we're able to, uh, Thomas Goulet was able to power his way in. So Rainville with a kick to come. Just to the right side of the goalpost, right footed kicker. And he's made the kick. So there we are, 7-7. And I believe, uh, no, we got one minute left on the clock according to referee. So with a minute to play in the first half, we've got a uh, seven all score. What else can you expect from these two teams when they play? Always tight games, always high pressure games. And of course this is a quarter final, the uh, loser goes home. Substitution being made there by Sherbrooke. Substitution is made. And the ball is fielded by the new player on the field. Uh, La Riviere takes the ball, not sure what to do with it. Finds his hooker, he takes it up hard. Ball fed back to Rainville, who looks downfield, tries to find some open space. Scott Best fields it well, just inside his own half. Uh, gives a chip down the center of the field and chases well. Ball fed to La Riviere. Taking on Lee Hudson, almost dances around him. A little bit of a whip tackle there. Might be penalized for that. Referee's got his arm out. Might have been uh, evidence of a dangerous tackle. We'll have, we'll have a look and see in a minute. La Riviere feeds Rainville. Yep, come back for the penalty. Yeah, it was a whip tackle. It's dangerous. Yeah, dangerous tackle there. Nothing else in it, but uh, yeah, it was just dangerous. So, be interesting to see what Sherbrooke does here. I just kicked the touch, and that's halftime. So, uh, an exciting first half. It started out a little shaky, but the last five or ten minutes have been pretty exciting. The last ten minutes. Uh, so, we got a score of seven all at halftime here. And... Uh, I'm sure the coach